What's going on guys? Machine here with a refer a friend guide. Got a couple questions from a few people that were watching my videos about what my methods were on refer a friending since some of my videos were coming out and, and showing some of the tunes I was bringing up so I figured I'd make a video just basically explaining exactly how to refer a friend, what refer a friending is, and uh, the tips and tricks that I've personally learned on refer a friending. Uh, basically how it works is first you need a regular WoW account. It doesn't necessarily need to have any expansions but it can't be a trial account. So what the one person will do is they will log into their Battle.net and they go to the account section and they can send an email basically to the person they want to recruit. The other person gets the email in their inbox, they click on it, sign up, boom, refer a friend is now created. So for 90 days, basically, you get um, triple the experience. Now you get triple experience on quests and enemies for the linked accounts, as long as they're within four levels of each other. So for instance, like a level 21 and a 25 will get triple experience, but a level 20 and a 25 would not share the triple XP. But the cool thing is, is if the one person goes above the other person, they can grant levels. Now, the only person that can grant levels is the person that was referred, not the referrer. A lot of people get that mixed up. A lot of people think that, hey, we're going to have all these alts and we can grant each other levels and blah, blah, blah. That's not how it works. So if I refriend you, you can grant me levels, but I can't grant you levels, which sucks, but it's how it is. So pretty much the person that actually refers they're the person that I think benefits a little bit better because the person that's receiving the referral can grant levels to you know the original person's alts so you know it, it's kind of a double-edged sword but it works um, so you can also get a 10% reputation bonus which isn't that big of a deal when you're leveling um, 80 to 85 though on the other hand which was when it stops working is when it would be awesome um, the rec basically, once the recruit purchases one month of subscription time, the recruiter is given a free month of gameplay also. So that's another bonus of using Refer a Friend. Um, and then, of course, the recruiter also gets the free rocket mount once 60 days of game time is purchased. So there's a few, you know, benefits beyond just the, the you know, the triple XP. Um, I just like the leveling. I could really care less about the rocket mount and the other stuff but it's just cool to be able to get tunes up as quick as you can so in the past refer a friend only went to level 60 um, it now goes to level 80 which is awesome now there basically what you want to do as soon as you guys start your tunes is you want to level up to 15 as quick as possible and you level together quest together the quests are going to give you huge XP um, if you're Alliance which I don't have any experience with Horde personally so I'm going to do this from an Alliance perspective if you are Alliance, basically you can hit level 15 um, usually by the time you get to the Eastvale logging camp, somewhere in there. You may have to go do a few Westfall quests depending on whether you did all the quests or skipped some early on. And if you do, it's no big deal. You should be able to hit it within an hour, hour and a half at the most. Once you're level 15, you can then qualify to queue up for dungeons. Now, dungeoning is hands down the quickest way, in my opinion, to get to level 80. Um, you're not running around, you're not questing, you're not doing anything. You're just standing in Stormwind, queuing up, boom, done. Now, there's a few things that can make refer a friending and your triple XP go even quicker. Yes, that's right, even quicker. One thing is to be in a high level guild. If you are in a high level guild, you can benefit from the max 10% um, experience bonus. So that bumps you up even further above the cap. Another way, and to me, one of the most important ways, is to get the heirloom gear for your tune. Now the heirloom gear can give you bonuses. Um, basically, there's a few pieces that you can get through the Justice Heirloom Vendor. There's a couple pieces you can get through being in a high level guild. And then there's a piece that I believe you can no longer get, and someone in the comments can correct me if I am wrong, but um, I will go over those right now. The Justice Vendor pieces, basically, that you can buy with Justice Points are a chess piece, 
which is going to give you 10% XP bonus. Shoulders, which is going to give you 10% XP bonus. Let's go over to the next page here. You can get a weapon for your tune. And you can also get trinkets. The pieces you can get from a high level guild are the helm, which is going to give you a 10% XP bonus, and the cloak, which is going to give you a 5% XP bonus. And the piece that I am pretty sure you can no longer get is the ring, which you can which would give you another 5% XP bonus. So basically just going back to this justice vendor here. There's, the heirloom gear does more than just give you an XP bonus. I'm going to explain that to you. When you're running dungeons nonstop, as you know, you get the helpful satchel of goods at the end, which I personally found not to be so helpful. I never seem to get items that are related to my spec. It's always the other spec. Like when I was bringing up my shaman, I was bringing him up in elemental, and I'd always get, you know, enhancement gear in the satchel, which sucked. Refer a friend. Or I'm sorry, not refer a friend, but heirloom gear in itself levels with you. So you don't have to worry about keeping up with gear. You're going to ding multiple times in a dungeon. So, I mean, you could do two runs and your gear's already six, seven levels behind you. So, I mean, you're doing less damage, you're having less survivability, you're putting out less heals if you're a healer. So having the heirloom gear and as much of it as possible definitely helps you. I mean, like I said, you get the chest, the shoulders, having a weapon is huge. It's going to make sure you're outputting the most damage or threat. Um, so basically, you know, having all these things is going to make you level even quicker. It's not just the experience, but it's being able to keep up with the gear and above that curve so you're doing as much as your tune can. And you're going to find that if you're DPS, if you have all the heirloom gear, you're going to be topping the charts, like, significantly. In most cases, you're going to do double, sometimes two and a half, three times more. DPS than just random scrubs that you're going to end up with that are not doing refer a friend. Um, so yeah, like I said, in the past it was only 1 through 60, now it's 1 through 80. That's huge for me personally, I hate a burning crusade, so 60 to 70 is a lot more um, simple to go through now, and then 70 to 80 hitting up the wrath dungeons, which is huge. Um, one cool thing which has nothing to do with refer a friend, but I'm just going to put it out there on the heirloom gear. Um, there are two pieces that actually go past level 80 for experience bonus, and that's the helm and the cloak. So you can get a 15% uh, bonus on experience if you have these items equipped, which, like I said before, you get them from being in a high-level guild, and that's from 80 to 85. So, it, you know, there's a bonus to getting this heirloom gear. Um, those two pieces don't cost justice points. They cost money. So well, you're going to want to have a little gold handy when you're doing this. Um, that's pretty much the just of gearing yourself up and getting up there as quick as possible. One other tip that I have, and this, this doesn't always work because it depends on what classes people want to play, and if you're passionate about playing a specific class, then by all means do it. But one thing that can keep you going and have things go a lot quicker is if one person is a tank spec or one per and the other person is a heal spec. Um, if you're the tank and the healer of a group, you have instant cues and you have the control of pace of the dungeon. Um, when I did refer a friend with my friend Nick, we're on vent the whole time. So it's basically like, you need mana? No, okay, I'm pulling. And I just chain, pull, chain, pull, chain, pull until he says, hey, give me a break, I need to drink. I need some mana, etc. That's huge, and it's going to get you through a lot quicker. And if the DPS can't keep up, they can leave, and you'll get another one in like two seconds. If you both are DPS classes, you're going to have a long ass queue time, and it's going to take a while to get in those dungeons and get you know benefit from that refer a friend. Even if one of you is a healer and the other person is a DPS, um, that's how we actually started with our druid priest combo. Nick was healing, and I was going to do feral cat DPS and we were still having 10 to 15 minute wait times on queues. So that's why I went into bear form and we're working on that right now. Um, so like I said, if you can get a combo where you're healer tank, you control the pace. And when you control the pace, things get done a lot quicker, or at least it does in my, in my, uh, my way of doing things. Um, as far as time frame on actually getting to 80, I didn't do a slash plate on 
on my DK, which was my most recent 80, and really it would have been it would have been kind of inaccurate anyways because I had levels granted. Um, on average, though, I would say if Nick and I logged in and we were tanking heals, controlling the group, controlling the pace, having the heirloom gear, you could realistically log in in about four hours, get probably right around ten levels, if not more. We were doing it about four hours a night and doing and just knocking it out in chunks of chunks of four or uh, ten levels at a time. So I mean, it, it you can go faster, you can play more, you can play less, but regardless, it goes quick. But the cool thing is, if you're the person that referred, you're getting like another huge benefit because you're also going to get an alt that can have 40 levels granted to him by the time you're at 80. And that's what I did with my shaman. He was already level like 50, and when me and Dick, or oh, I just called him Dick. Sorry, buddy. When me and Nick hit 80. Basically, he was able to then grant my Shaman from 50 to 80 and then throw another 10 levels to my Warlock. So, it works out. And if you guys are bringing up multiple tunes, it's very, very easy to take advantage of this and get one of each tune fairly quickly. Um, so, you know, you definitely want to take advantage of the time. You have it for about 90 days, and so that gives you a good chunk. It gives you three months, basically, to, you know, take advantage of the 300% XP and you know crank out these levels um, so yeah just to recap the method I use to level is pure instancing the tips to minimize downtime if you can run a tank spec heal spec with the tunes you guys are playing do so control the control the dungeon control the pull time control the you know the pace of the group and most importantly to me, farm out that heirloom gear. Yes, some of the stuff is expensive as far as justice points, and yes, that might take time to get these points to get this gear, but you will not regret it. You will be keeping up with your gear, it will be leveling with you, you will be doing optimal DPS heals or tanking, you'll have the survivability, and it will just make things go very, very, very quick. Um, another way to minimize downtime, it'll be my last tip of the video make sure when you get in the dungeon if the quest people are not there for you to get the quests ask if anyone has the quests they may be doing non refer a friend they may be running around leveling and sometimes you get those quests from outside the instance those quests are huge I mean you're gonna get a retarded amount of XP from those quests and don't forget to turn them in before you leave the group a lot of times you're gonna ding while you're doing the instance then you're going to ding again when you finish the instance, and then when you turn in these three or four quests, you could very, very well ding again. So that is it for my Refer a Friend video. My tips, my tricks. As you can see, Serac got tired of hearing me talk, and he sat down. He's probably going AFK. Um, if you guys ever have any other questions on some of the methods I use for pretty much any aspect of the game, feel free to post it in the comments. Um, feel free to send me a PM, feel free to send me a video response, and as always, I would appreciate if you favored and liked my videos, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Much more videos and guides coming your way I'm out there to help everyone, and I'd appreciate if you guys helped me by subscribing and becoming a fan. Thanks a lot, guys, and as always, at the end of my videos, stay tuned for more.